So for my lunch today, I'm gonna make a bread salad. I know you're thinking, oh God, white bread, processed foods, blood sugar, yeah. But you know, one of my big treats for my family every week when I go shopping is to buy a baguette or two because we just love it. And you know, if you do have trouble with your blood sugar and you can have gluten, um, you can offset a white baguette with lots of fiber and protein. So I'm gonna show you how to use a stale baguette because this is a few days old and turn it into a really nice main dish salad. So what I'm doing is I'm just gonna cut up one of our vegetables I had in the fridge and I've got some radishes, I've got carrots and your carrots, you know, you could grate these, which is really nice. I just don't feel like getting my grater out or just slice them up really thin. Cut up some celery. And the thing about the bread salad, what the bread does is the bread absorbs all the dressing and kind of gives it a meaty texture. It's really good. You see how I'm building this? And I'm gonna put some cucumber. So I washed all these beforehand. And then for my greens, I'm going to add, I've got some of the detox mix from Harvest of Peace microgreens from Therese up the road. Add those in there. And I'm going to add just some quick baby arugula. And, you know, I love to buy greens out of the plastic, but that's just not, that's not what I had this week. And these are conveniently washed, so it makes a quick meal. Great convenience. And now I need some protein in this. So the protein I'm gonna use is cheese and eggs. So I hard boiled these eggs the other day. I'm just gonna hope they're easy to peel. I got the idea for this salad from, God, this is a horrible one, Jacques Pepin. Do you, so you should subscribe to Jacques Pepin's YouTube channel and watch his videos. That did not go very well. I hard boiled egg in a salad is so good because what it, what the egg yolk does is it helps to um, emulsify your salad dressing. And it so it makes it really creamy and good because all I'm going to use for the salad dressing on this is just a really simple vinaigrette that I mix up on the salad. This one's easier to peel. So this next month we're talking about protein and every egg has about seven grams of protein. So, so far in this, I've got 14 grams of high quality protein. That's where it's coming from. And where did my cheese go? There it is. I picked up, I know, it does not look attractive. I picked up some Rogue Creamery blue cheese last week. Oh, that's gonna be so good. Um, you know, you could use feta, you could use anything, feta cheese or cheddar cheese, whatever you like on your salad. And I'm gonna put a fair bit of cheese on there. And I'm not, I'm only adding a tiny bit of cheese. This cheese is for flavor, not necessarily for protein. If you added more cheese, you could tack it up for the protein. Okay, now let's season this and dress it. You know, you could use tomatoes in there, you put avocados in there, whatever you want. I'm gonna add a pinch or two of salt. When I add my salt, I usually toss it with my hands, one pinch on one outside, and I, these are small pinches, because this, this is a single person salad. This is all for me. Don't be afraid of salt on your salad. That's the whole thing about salads. It's salted greens. Yeah. I'm gonna use a red wine vinegar on this. About, and, and you're gonna need to go a little heavier on salad dressing. So I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of vinegar to this and about three tablespoons of olive oil. And the reason I'm going heavy on the dressing is that those breadcrumbs are going to really soak it up. They're gonna soak it up and they're gonna taste so good in that salad. All right, so this is my main dish bread salad. Using leftover stale baguette. I hope you like it.